And welcome back to the Highlander Sports Network. It's been a long time coming, but right now the start of the men's basketball season is finally in grasp. And with us, we have uh, one of the leaders, of course, in uh, guard, Zach Cooks. Zach, I know it's been an eternity, it must seem, for the last time you were playing meaningful basketball at the yeah. WEC your, uh, in your career. Yeah, it's been a little minute, man, uh, dealing with this COVID, this virus and everything that's going on. But uh, luckily, hopefully, this 19th, this Saturday coming up, we got a got a first game to, to play. So, I would imagine that no matter who you're playing, when you're playing, what year it is, you're always excited. I Maybe mean, some nerves, but you're always excited for that first game. Right. How much different is that feeling going into this Temple game than maybe it was last year when we were turning the corner in November to get ready to, to start up the basketball season? Um, I would say about two weeks ago, I was getting a little nerves, a little butterflies for the first game. But now that we don't really know if we're going to have a game, if we're going to play a game or not, it's kind of like just let's just, just prepare for a hopeful game. So um, I'm getting getting a little antsy, just ready to play and have a – get our first game out of the way and just – just uh, beat up on somebody else, really. Everybody, teammates and all that stuff. So you're ready to play somebody else. But, but it's funny, too. I mean, you're starting against Temple. I mean, here's a team with yeah. a great, strong basketball tradition. Now, in fairness, they haven't played any games either. So I feel like yeah. it's, it's a little more fair for the Highlanders. Um, but what does that do? What is that knowing that you're playing a team that, that has, uh, you know, uh, upper mid, uh, you know, low, mid major to major talent and potential? Yeah. Uh, how much more does that add to the excitement or the nerves when you finally get going? Yeah, it's uh, Temple. They're pretty. They're kind of a different team this year than they were last year. Um, I think they they have a couple guards, a couple bigs that we could really just find ourselves and just play against and see where we where we are at the at the moment. Uh, they're kind of a high major, mid major school, but you know they're they're just another basketball team we could play against and and just show what we could do. All right. Well, this might be hard because you've been limited with practice time, a lot of new faces, et cetera. But yeah. to start like a season preview, so to speak, what's different? When I watch the Highlanders play in 2020, 2021, what might be a little bit different in terms of the pulse of the team and how you play than, say, 19, uh, 2019 to 20? Uh, I think the style of play will be the same. I just think everybody will see uh, more more shooters, a lot of more threes, uh, a, a bet, much better pace, up and down pace for us. Um, we got a couple new guys that's coming in, and they can really shoot the ball really well. Um, everybody has kind of different different game this year than we did last year. Um, and so I think it'll be exciting for the fans to watch and hopefully we, they can help us get some wins too. Yeah, and, and one thing that's interesting too from your perspective, I mean, your role on this team kind of was, was in limbo there for a minute, but now we've got a guy transferring in, Antoine Butler, who's played uh, right. some big-time college minutes. So you went from maybe being the point guard to kind of back playing off the ball with the ability to bring the ball up. What's it been like so far dealing and playing and practicing with Antoine Butler and how that might affect your game positively moving forward? Uh, Booty's coming in. He's fitting in re really well, man. He came in day one, uh, gelling in with the guys really well. He's played basketball before at Austin P, So he knows how the college basketball game is. Um, he just likes Shaquan, just a really solid point guard, can distribute, can get his own shot when he can. And uh, it'll, of course, like last year, ease me up with bringing the ball up. Um, but also he can play off the ball with me too. Um, so I think we play, we'll go hand in hand and we can switch up every now and then. Yeah, I think that's kind of neat because that's really what you've been able to do, the luxury of playing with Shaquan Gibbs, right. you know, for the first part of your career. Um, yep. Let's step into the front court too, because what's interesting to me is that, you know, Suleiman Diakite really improved as the season went on, became more of a force, looked to score more. And yep. then you get held the graph, a bit of a different player, but you get him back from injury after missing, you know, so much time a year ago. What have those two in particular look like in the front court, and, and how comfortable are you with the the fact that you've got some threats down low, like maybe you did when you had Abdul Lewis a couple of years ago? Yeah. yeah, those two, man, they've been working really hard um, since today. We've actually had to go home, but they had to stay up here. Uh, they've been working hard in the weight room and gym with the coaches and everything. So you've seen a lot of improvement with Suleiman and how he just – basically he's the, the game is slowing down for him a little bit. Uh, he gets the ball in the post. He's making plays really well. He, he's passing the ball out too, so – uh, he 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 should be he should have a really a really breakout year this year for us. Uh, Kale just getting back from his injury, uh, but he's got him way stronger than he was last year. He's shooting the ball really well right now in practice, and uh, uh, hopefully he can get some get a couple minutes, couple couple games back under his belt, and get back into the rhythm of things. You know, it seems so much ability. He's had some huge games, and then you know the knock is that sometimes some games you know he doesn't have much of an impact. 
Uh, yeah. We know what he's capable of. This is his last hurrah as well. What have you seen from San Antonio that excites you as a leader on this 2020-21 squad? Uh, I think I've seen what I've been trying to tell him for the past four or five years, man, just to go out and play his game and just just be him. Uh, Pat has been doing some things that I haven't really – I wasn't expecting, I'd say. I've seen it, but I wasn't expecting him to be doing it, you know, like 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 he's been doing it. Uh, so I think this year you're going to come out with me and just – just have fun, really, man. It's it's a crazy time to be in, but you know we it's a chance to play basketball, so we're gonna go out and just hopefully just make the best of our senior, really. Yeah, you think about it. This is a chance for you guys. I mean, it's gonna be a crazy season. Um, yeah. No one's gonna be able to predict what's gonna happen. You're in a new conference in the America East, you yeah. know, and this is your last chance to get to the big dance, the tournament. So I'm sure it's exciting from that perspective. But you know, to take that next step as a program. You're going to have to get some contributions from some of the newer, younger guys. We talked about, obviously, Booty being a guy that can handle the rock. But yeah. not to put you on the spot, not to make you feel like you have to name anybody, but who's maybe a name or a player I haven't seen play that's been impressive and you think, and maybe it's multiple guys, but you think can have a big impact coming off the bench here for the Highlanders? Um, I would say I'm going with Makai, Makai Gray and uh, and Miles Coleman. Um, I think Makai's – He's he's going to be a really good player if, if he develops the way he the way I think he will, um, and I think Miles just already has he got a body on him already that just can he can move people around a little bit and bump and grind down there uh, with the guys. So uh, he'll make he'll make some noise. They both make some noise with this this year. Yeah, we could talk about every day, everybody all day long, but you know you think about the pulse and how this team's going to go, and you know not to put more on your shoulders, but a lot of what's going to happen is going to ride on how Zach Cooks does. You've right. won a lot of accolades. You've had hardware. You've had stories written about you. Second straight year, by the way. Congratulations on the Lou Henson uh, watch list. But for you specifically, talk about your mentality, knowing that this team, you're the pulse of this team, and, and how are you going to take that to a next level to ensure a good year? Yeah, man, I just try to just lead my team as the best I can. That's really my – that's what I've been working on lately, just being more vocal and, and just showing the guys how just things should be done and how things – are going to be need to be in the two win basketball games. Uh, I'm just working on just just distributing a little bit more because uh, I may not be scoring all the time this year. Uh, just getting my teammates more involved and just, just doing whatever I can to just get a, get a win for our team. I've always said that, and I'm going to stick with it, whether it's defending, rebounding, passing, assisting, scoring, whatever it is. So I'm um, just go out there and play games and help, help my team wins, get wins. <clears throat> Away from the basketball court, you know, we've learned a lot about life and priorities and what's really important. And I mean, the COVID thing has really been crazy, but I hate to use the word good and COVID in the same sentence, but maybe tell me something good that you've either learned about yourself, about NJIT, about just society. What have you learned? What has been helpful when you sit back and you have had so much time to analyze life in general with all the, the, the time off we've had from regular life? Uh, I think I've just learned I've, to have patience, man. It's just, you know, everything is sometimes just not about right now is or the next day, the next week, whatever. But just you never know when things can be taken from you and how fast things can be gone. So I just learned how to have patience just to always take advantage of the, of the, of the opportunity you have in front of you. Uh, so every day I go and practice and just take take advantage because you never know it can be taken from you. Uh, the season can be cut tomorrow, next week, whenever. So uh, patience and just just – making sure I take take advantage of every opportunity I have to play basketball. Now, i got to ask you this because with this crazy year, I don't know if we're going to see the Cooks family. I know for the first three years of your career, nothing brings more joy to seeing them go crazy. I look to them every time you hit one of those threes or you drive yeah. in and score against the seven-footer. Yeah. Uh, is everybody healthy? And, and what's it been like for them trying to chomp at the bit to see th their guy play a senior yeah. year? Yeah, everybody's back at home. They're good, man. They're – they're trying to deal with it just like I am, man. They uh they want to get up here so bad, but you know, with certain COVID precautions they have to take to get up here and all that type of stuff. So uh they'll be up here when they can. I'll tell you that. Uh if if Temple lets the fan come Saturday, I promise you, my dad will be up here Saturday at 4 30. Uh so you know, they they hanging in there with me, man. They just they'll be supporting back at home or in person, whatever it is. So they uh they're sending their best wishes for the team and, and myself. So they'll be there. Well, so they've certainly supported of the team the whole time that you've been here, you know, the first three years of your uh, terrific Highlander career. Now, I know I've asked you this question before in some form or another, but we're not going to go through all 12 days of Christmas, right? Yeah. But obviously, I would have to think that number one for Zach Cooks for Christmas is just getting on the floor and playing a meaningful NCAA basketball game. 
That's number that one. Number one right? what, what's number, number two? What's number two? Uh, to have my family come up here for Christmas or me go back home for Christmas, one other, one or the other. I, I won't be, want to be disappointed. Yeah. Well, no doubt you uh, certainly have gone through a, a tough time here. This is supposed to be the highlight of your your life, really. You know, you're a college year, you're a senior, you're playing with a competitive basketball team in a new division and yep. a new conference. But you know, patience, right? Like you said earlier, it's about patience. I'm really excited. Before I let you go, anything else that, that you think is important for us to know about this edition of the Highlanders men's basketball team? Uh, no, nah, I don't have really much else to say. I just think we're going to come out and have a have a, a good show on that temple uh, and then go forward from whenever we else, wherever, another time we play. Uh, I think we're going to make some noise in the in the America East um, and just, just show the teams what, what we can do. Saturday at 4.30, you reminded me to up my ESPN Plus subscription. Yes, so that sir. I can make sure I get I, I got eyes on a lot of these games, not many I've missed over the years, and certainly yeah. uh, we can't go down there to watch it. I want to see you perform. Zach, best of luck. I know it's been a trying time, but I know you're chomping at the bit, and, and one thing we've learned about you and your teammates is that when you guys are put in a position uh, where you've held back in any way, you usually respond pretty positively. So go get them. Keep that yes, team sir. focused, and let's see some wins this year. I appreciate you, Matty P. All right. That is Zach Cooks uh, going into his senior year. I'm, of course, Matt Province. And once again, we thank you for watching this edition of the men's basketball season preview on the Highlander Sports Network.